Hi everyone, this is Jaden here, and today in this video, I will be sharing with you all what are my top five favorite new casting choices in Vegeta 2. Okay, so what do I mean by new casting choices in Vegeta 2? Well, what I mean by new casting choices is basically the casting choices that are in Vegeta 2 that are for the new characters that were introduced in Shrek 2. So yeah, that means casting choices for characters like Human Shrek, Stallion Donkey, Puss in Boots, etc. You know, that kind of stuff. And another thing that I want to make clear in this video, since uh, I found two Vegeta 2 Shrek 2 movie spoof projects on YouTube, this list is for my, my Vegeta 2 project. My Vegeta 2 project. Okay. Yeah, not the not for the other one that I found on YouTube. That is by FNAF FR Comics or however you say that name. So yeah, this project is for my Vegeta 2 project, which is still not complete yet. No, I'm still at part 34. And to be honest with you guys, I haven't really been I haven't really been getting at it that frequently recently. Yeah, I, I still haven't even gotten it. I still haven't even gotten to the part where Sonic Shadow and Princess Bubblegum all transform back into Goku, Vegeta, and Bulma. Yeah, I still haven't even gotten to that part yet. Yeah, I haven't really been working on this next part that much, that frequently recently. But still, I, but still, guys, I promise that this part will be out at some point. I don't know when this next part will be out, but I do promise that it, that it will be out at some point. I do promise that I will finish my Vegeta 2 Shrek 2 movie spoof project at some point. With the movie being complete and Far Far Away Idol and you know with Far Far Away Idol and you know Justin Justin from Total Drama being Simon Cowell and all that stuff, yeah, I do promise that. Yeah, I do promise that. But I, but yeah, I will continue to work on my Vegeta Two Shrek Two movie spoof project. But I don't want to rush. But I don't want to rush things too much. You know what I mean? I don't want to rush my videos too much. Yeah, you don't want to rush your videos too much because if you do, then there's a chance that they're not gonna be they're not gonna be able to be done justice. So, yeah. I'll continue to work on my Vegeta 2 project, but I don't want to rush things too much. I don't want to rush it too much. I do want to take my time with it, you know, make sure, you know, make sure it continues to have a variety of pictures being, a, a variety of pictures being shown and all that stuff. So yeah, this next part will be at some, uh, will be out at some point. I don't know when, but I do promise that it will be out at some point. And this Vegeta 2 Shrek 2 movie spoof project will be complete at some point too. And yeah, another thing that I wanted to say before starting the list is that, okay, so you know how usually when I do list videos on this channel, I, you know, I just randomly list out entries without ranking them? Well, that's not the case for this list video, no. For this list video, all five entries are being ranked. Yep, all five of them. All five of them, I'm not doing honorable mentions in this video, but all five entries on this top five list are ranked. And another thing I want to note is that please keep in mind that my opinion has changed a lot. So this list might not be permanent. Okay. All right. So, uh, so yeah, with all that out of the way, let me start the list. Okay. Starting off with number five. Number five, Knuckles as Puss in Boots. All right. Now, this is a really good casting choice in my opinion. Like, honestly, I would say that Knuckles fits Shrek better than he does with Puss in Boots. But I still think he fits Puss. I still think he fits Puss. He fits Puss well. But yeah, to be honest with you guys, this is not an original casting choice that I came up with myself. Yeah, I do want to make that clear. All right, okay, so here's why I have Knuckles as Puss in Boots. Okay, so for Goku, okay, so here's the thing. I wanted to have a, I wanted there to be a Sonic trio for when Goku and Vegeta transform into Sonic and Shadow. And I realized that to make that work, I would have to have a Sonic character be Puss in Boots. And yeah, I couldn't think of a Sonic character that I feel is as good of a choice for Puss in Boots as Knuckles is. And I saw Winnie Brown have Knuckles be Puss in Boots for her Sonic Shrek series. And I looked at that casting choice and I thought, yeah, that would be a good casting choice for Puss in Boots for my Vegeta Shrek series. So yeah, I took that casting choice from her without asking. I went with that casting choice for my Vegeta 2. And yeah, now... now now just so y'all know, just now just so y'all know, no, no, no. She's not upset at me for re for using that casting choice she used of for reusing that casting choice she used of Knuckles as Puss in Boots. Nope, nope. She's she told me that she's completely fine with me having Knuckles be Puss in Boots. And yeah, I mean sure, one night she got mad at me for reusing a casting choice that she used of Sonic and Shadow as the normal versions of Shrek and Donkey, but still she apologized for that and she said that she's fine. With me having Knuckles be Puss in Boots for my Vegeta 2 Shrek 2 movie spoof project. So, yeah, just so y'all know that she's fine with me reusing uh, having Knuckles be Puss in Boots too. And I made sure that the syncing for Knuckles as Puss in Boots is different from the syncing of Knuckles of, Knuckles, uh, of the casting choice 
in both Winnie Brown's old Sonic Shrek series and and for her what's what's currently going on right now her Shadow Shrek series which is currently at Shadow the Third right now so yeah just so so yeah just so you know she's fine with me reusing the casting choice of Knuckles as Puss in Boots and yeah there's no drama going on between between us with that casting choice and there hasn't been any drama going on between us there hasn't been any drama going on between us in a little bit now if not a while and now so yeah just so you know and I do really like the casting choice of Knuckles as Puss in Boots yeah like I said I would say that he fits Shrek better but I still think he's a good choice for Puss in Boots I've had I have had fun having him be Puss in Boots and having to be this trail between him Goku and Vegeta and you know later have him transform into Sonic and Shadow thus making this big Sonic trio that I was just talking about earlier yeah you know if you know and if you know you know if they had Puss drink the potion in Shrek 2 I can imagine me having Piccolo be the normal version of Puss in Boots and have Knuckles be the transformed Puss, uh, be the transformed version of Puss in Boots so it would have been Dragon Ball trio transformed into Sonic trio <laughs> so yeah overall I really like the casting choice of Knuckles as Puss in Boots and and yeah I really like the casting choice and I have and I've enjoyed doing it okay Moving on. Number four, Alejandro is Prince Charming. Yet another casting choice that's not originally my own casting choice. Yeah. Yeah, I don't want to claim any casting choices that I've reused as my own casting choices. I don't want to be a jerk like that. But, yeah, I've had Alejandro be Prince Charming for my Vegeta Shrek series. And the reason why I've had Alejandro be Prince Charming is because I saw how these other guys, how some of these other spoofers, I've had Alejandro from Total Drama be Prince Charming in their Shrek spoof cast and I saw that casting choice and I thought it was a really good and funny casting choice and I thought that it would have been really nice to use that would, would be really nice to use for my Vegeta Shrek series but I thought I might I would probably be but I thought I would probably be being too much of a copycat if I were to reuse that casting choice so I was trying to think in my head you know trying to come up with a better casting choice for Prince Charming than Alejandro and I couldn't think of one so I just thought uh, you know what? It shouldn't be a big deal for me to have Alejandro be Prince Charming. I mean, come on, I'm not the first person to reuse that casting choice. So yeah, I've had Alejandro be Prince Charming, and so far there's no drama, and so far I didn't get into any drama with anyone on the internet for reusing that casting choice, for the reusing that casting choice, and that's good. But still, I do not claim that casting choice as my own original casting choice. Yes, I am one of those people who use that casting, who have used that casting choice, but it's not my own original casting choice. It's not my own original casting choice. Yeah, I do want to make that clear. I don't want to be a jerk and claim any casting choices that I didn't come up with myself as my own casting choices. Yeah, and anyway, yeah, and I love Alejandro as Prince Charming. Alejandro, in my opinion, is a great and funny choice for Prince Charming. He fits in pretty well, and in my opinion... Alejandro's Prince Charming is definitely one of the best casting choices you can do with total drama characters as Shrek characters. I love Alejandro as Prince Charming. I feel it's deserving at the number four spot on this list. I've enjoyed having him be the son of Eris from the Grim Adventures of Billy and Mandy. I've been, I have enjoyed having him like having him pretend to be Vegeta to Princess Bubblegum. All that stuff. Great casting choice in my opinion. Okay, moving on. Number three, one of the only live action casting choices in my Vegeta Shrek series. Frank Heffley as Human King Harold. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. Yeah, I also like that one casting choice I came up with myself with Cat Dog's father from Cat Dog being Frog King Harold, but I definitely don't like it as much as Frank Heffley from Diary of Wimpy Kid as Human King Harold. Yeah. Now, this is yet another casting choice I didn't originally come up with myself. Okay, I got the idea. Okay, I'll be honest with you guys. I got the idea to have Frank and Susan Heffley from the Diary of a Wimpy Kid movies be Fiona's parents. Because I saw someone else do it for a, a Shrek cast video that had Homer as Shrek. And, and yeah, honestly, I can't find that video now. I haven't been able to find that video in months. I don't know if it's privated or deleted. but So, yeah, I can't find that video anymore. So, yeah, that's that's yet another casting choice that's not originally mine. And credit to the person, yeah, and credit to the person who made that Homer Shrek cast video. Thank you for giving me the idea to have uh, Frank and Susan Heffley be Fiona's parents. Yeah, that's not my original casting choice. And, and yeah, and, and yeah, I love Frank Heffley as Human King Harold. In my opinion, Frank Heffley, Frank from Diary of Wimpy Kid, he is and will always will, will always be the best character in Diary of Wimpy Kid, like how Spencer will always be the best character in like Carly, and like how Dr. Doofenshmirtz will always be the best character in Phineas and Ferb. Love, I love Frank Heffley, and he fits King Harold pretty well. I'm sure I wouldn't say that he fits King Harold as well in the fourth movie, 
and it seems like he doesn't fit him as well in the in this new Diary of One Kid animated movie either. But he fits him pretty well in the first three in the first three movies. He fits him pretty darn well for being like the crazy dad and all that stuff. Uh, yeah, he's such. Yeah, he fits him. Yeah, he fits him pretty well. I love. I have really enjoyed having Frank Hathaway be Human King Harold, having him. You know, having this nice little plot between. You know, him needing need to get along with Vegeta. Him. You know, having Eris and Alejandro confront him. Awesome. I love. Yeah, I love Frank Heffley as Human King Harold. Uh, such an awesome choice for King Harold. I also really like how I have Susan Heffley from Diary of Wimpy Kid as Queen Lillian too. Yeah, I think that's a really good and fitting casting choice too. But Frank Heffley as King Harold is definitely better. So deserving of the number three spot on this list. Okay, now moving on to the top two entries. Number two, Shadow as Human Shrek. Now, this is yet another, for the fourth time in a row... This is yet another casting choice that I did not originally come up with myself. Nope. I saw Martha McGinnis use this casting choice before me for her The Grinch 2 Shrek 2 Movie Spoof Project. And yeah, so I'm not the first person I'm not the first person to do it. But I don't think but I don't think she minds me having Shadow be human be human Shrek for my Vegeta Shrek series since that you know because you know she's subscribed she's subscribed to me and she didn't give me any negative responses. And she didn't give me any negative responses about Shadow being uh, human. She didn't give me any responses about what she thinks about me having Shadow be human Shrek. And and plus, I've seen her uh, steal sinking footage from uh, Yesenia the Hedgehog. Well, I, I, I don't know. I don't exactly know if it's stealing because I don't know if she uh, got permission from her to reuse the sinking or not. But yeah, still, I saw her reuse sinking footage from Yesenia the Hedgehog or however the heck you pronounce that YouTube channel name. So, so yeah, I don't think she minds me having Shadow be human Shrek. And as for the casting choice of Shadow as Human Shrek, I love the casting choice of Shadow as Human Shrek. I, I've really enjoyed having Vegeta be transformed into him. It's pretty awesome. I came up, yeah, I came up with the idea of having Goku and Vegeta transform into Sonic and Shadow because, you know, I thought, but like I said in that one video, I thought about, like, like, like I've said, like I've said, because like I've said, um, I thought about how, uh, I thought about how I've seen people on the internet, you know, compare, like, associate Sonic and Dragon Ball together, compare compare the two series, and, you know, saying, talking about how Sonic is similar to Dragon Ball, and they say, like, you know, Sonic equals Goku, Shadow equals Vegeta, Knuckles equals Piccolo, all that stuff, and, yeah, they gave me the idea to have Goku and Vegeta turn into Sonic and Shadow, and, and yeah, I've really enjoyed having Vegeta be transformed in the Shadow. I think it's really good. I think Shadow fits Shrek really well. I mean, I wouldn't say he fits him as well as Vegeta does, looking at the part, looking at look at how Vegeta's character development is more like is more alike with Shrek's character development. Especially looking at how his voice fits Shrek a lot better than Shadow's does. Vegeta's voice fits Shrek's voice a lot better than Shadow's does. Shadow's voice definitely doesn't fit Shrek that well. Voice wise, Shadow doesn't doesn't fit Shrek that well. It's like it's like too edgy. It's too edgy to fit Shrek's voice. But I still think Shadow fits Shrek really well with his personality with his personality, his attitude, and all that stuff, and yeah, he's a really good choice for Shrek. I would say he's definitely a better choice for Shrek than Sonic is. Not saying that Sonic's a bad choice for Shrek. No, I like Sonic as Shrek, but I definitely prefer him as Donkey. He's definitely a better choice for Donkey, and Shadow's definitely a better choice for Shrek than he is. Yeah, I love. Yeah, I love. Yeah, I love Shadow as Shrek, and I've enjoyed having him be Human Shrek for my. Vegeta Shrek series, and I've enjoyed having Vegeta be transformed into him. It's awesome. In fact, let me I, right now. I want to quote the part of my Vegeta two where Vegeta reacts, where Vegeta reacts to being transformed into Shadow. And cussing alert, warning! I'm about to cuss a bit here because you know Vegeta likes to cuss like a sailor. They they can cuss like sailors in Dragon Ball. So let me do it. Oh, thanks. But what the hell? What, these are my gloves. Give me that pill. Ah! Ah! Oh! What, what the hell? A small, black, wiggly nose? Hair spiked up all the way back? Black spiky fur all over me? I'm... I'm what the hell am I? <laughs> I love quoting spoofs. I love quoting spoofs like that. It's awesome. It's awesome. You know, I'd say that Vegeta gave a more in-character reaction to being transformed in the shadow than Goku did with being transformed into Sonic and Vegeta 2. Yeah, I love the casting choice of Shadow as human. Shrek's shadow is such a great choice for Shrek, in my opinion. Definitely one of the best casting choices you can do with Shadow with, with Sonic characters and Shrek characters. And yeah, Shadow the Hedgehog as human. Shrek's awesome. And in my opinion, it is almost, very much almost as good as this number one casting choice. 
And that casting choice is... Number one, Sonic as Stallion Donkey. Very slightly beating out Shadow as Human Shrek. Yeah, I like Sonic as Stallion Donkey slightly more... I like Sonic as Stallion Donkey slightly more than Shadow as Human Shrek. Shadow as Human Shrek's so awesome, don't get me wrong. But I think Sonic as Stallion Donkey is slightly better. I probably can't exactly explain why, but I think it's slightly better. Like, I don't know, maybe it's like a bit more fitting. Maybe it's a bit more fitting. I would say it's definitely more fitting voice-wise. And I think that Sonic makes a great choice for Donkey. Like I said in the previous entry, he's definitely a better choice for Donkey than he is for Shrek. Not that I mind him as Shrek, but he's still, I still think he's a good choice for Shrek. But I definitely prefer him as Donkey. And yeah, I love the casting choice of Sonic as Stallion and Donkey. I've, I've really enjoyed having Goku be transformed into uh, uh, be transformed into Sonic. It's been really awesome. It's nice that Goku and it's nice that, and it's nice that Goku's been really enjoying being transformed into a hedgehog. Yeah, too bad. Yeah, and yeah, and I, it's gonna be awesome having him react, uh, having him react to being transformed back into his normal self and being transformed out of Sonic. You know, not wanting to transform back into his normal self. Yeah, I really like, yeah, I really enjoy Sonic as Stallion Donkey. It fits, yeah, I think Sonic fits Donkey pretty well, especially if we're talking about the 2020 live action version of Sonic. Like, that's definitely the version of Sonic that I've seen be used for Donkey the most, and I can understand why. That version of, that version of Sonic fits Shrek, uh, I mean, fits Donkey so well. That, that, that version of Sonic fits, that, for, that version of Sonic fits Donkey so well, since that, you know he's the comedic since he's the comedic relief character of the film, just like Donkey, and you know he's crazy and all that stuff. Easily the most fitting casting choice, easily the most fitting fitting version, easily the most fitting version for Donkey, easily the most fitting version of Sonic for Donkey. Awesome, yeah. It's Sonic is Donkey, yeah. Sonic is Donkey is awesome. I've really enjoyed having Goku be transformed into him for my uh, Vegeta Shrek series and. You know, like I said, you know, I, you know, like I said, I came up with the I came up with the idea of having Goku and Vegeta be trans, uh, transform into Sonic and Shadow because you know I saw about I saw people compare Sonic to Dragon Ball uh, by you know I I explaining how they're similar by saying that um y you know Goku equals Sonic, Vegeta equals Shadow, and all that stuff. Oh man, let me uh let me give this video better lighting here real quick. Yeah, there we go. That's better. And. Yeah, that's how I got the idea of having Goku and Vegeta be transformed into Sonic and Shadow for my Vegeta 2 project, and I was really looking forward to doing it. It was like the it was like the thing in my Vegeta 2 project that I was looking forward to doing the most, and I've really enjoyed having Goku and Vegeta be transformed into Sonic and Shadow. And in on of course, I'm also looking forward to having Sonic and Shadow transformed back into Goku and Vegeta because, in my opinion, I think I've had a bit more fun having Goku and Vegeta be Shrek and Donkey than Sonic and Shadow. I wouldn't say a lot more fun. I wouldn't say Goku and Vegeta are a much better or a much better choice for Shrek and Donkey than Sonic and Shadow. I would say they're a bit like slightly uh, they're a slightly better choice for Shrek and Donkey than Sonic and Shadow. But I still think Sonic and Shadow are a great choice for Shrek and Donkey. I love those two. I love those two as Shrek and Donkey. They're an awesome choice for Shrek and Donkey. Definitely a better choice for Shrek and Donkey than Sonic and Tails as them. I'm not saying that Sonic and Tails as them is bad. No, I like Sonic and Tails as them too. But I definitely prefer Sonic and Shadow as Shrek and Donkey. And yeah, Sonic does make a really good Donkey. I would say he makes a good choice for both Shrek and Donkey, like how much he's been retconned and all that stuff. And yeah, like I've said, I really enjoyed having Sonic be, you know, Sonic be Goku's transformation for my Vegeta 2. And, and one of the things I like about Goku, about having Goku and Sonic be Donkey for my Vegeta Shrek series is that <laughs> one, of my, one of the things I like about doing that is that you know Goku and Sonic are protagonists that me and my little sister Josie uh, have had similar obsessions with when we were little. When we were little, you know, like fanboying, like fan uh, fanboying slash fangirling these characters, you know, claiming them to be like the strongest characters in the world and all that stuff. <laughs> so, yeah, saying that they're stronger than one another, uh, than one another, and all that stuff. Uh, dressing up as them for Halloween. Honestly, yeah, Josie and I have had similar obsessions with Goku. Yeah, Josie, my little sister Josie has a, has had a similar obsession with Sonic. Like has has been obsessed was obsessed with Sonic when she was little. Oh my gosh! Stuttering problem. Stuttering problem. Please go away. But yeah, anyway, yeah, Josie has had uh, Josie. Uh, Josie was obsessed with Sonic when she was little. Kind of like kind of like how I was how I was obsessed how I've been obsessed with Goku growing up. And yeah, Josie's not really that obsessed with Sonic anymore, but I'm still 
obsessed with Dragon Ball, and I used to consider Goku my favorite fictional character. Now, I don't think I would consider him to be my favorite fictional character anymore, but I would still consider him to be, to, to be one of my favorite fictional characters. Now, I think I, I prefer Vegeta a bit more than him, and I probably prefer Shadow a bit more than Sonic, too, and... Yeah, I've really enjoyed having both Goku and Sonic be Donkey for my Vegeta Shrek series, and Sonic makes a really good, makes a really good Donkey. I've really enjoyed having him be Stallion Donkey, and I've really enjoyed, I've really enjoyed having him be Stallion Donkey, and I think that he fits Stallion Donkey well, despite the fact that he can't win it, <laughs> despite the fact that he can't win it. Yeah, yeah, probably could have uh, replaced the parts where you know Donkey winnies with like with maybe like added dialogue of me saying lines for me of. Me saying something I think Goku would say, or like maybe, or maybe me editing in lines from the Sonic games, but but still, it's fine though. It's fine though. It's nothing. It's nothing to fix. It works well with the. Um, it, it works. It works well for the sake of the spoof film. And yeah, overall, I love the casting choice of Sonic Stallion Donkey. I think Sonic does fit Donkey pretty well. I like I said, I think he fits. I think he's a better choice for Donkey than he is for Shrek. I've really enjoyed having him be Stallion Donkey. I've really enjoyed uh, some of how I've enjoyed having Shadow be. Human Shrek, and yeah, I don't know what else there is to say. I love Sonic, Estelle, and Donkey very slightly better than Shadow as Human Shrek, in my opinion. I feel he deserves, this casting choice deserves the number one spot of this list. And that's it for the list, everyone. Now, of course, those aren't, those aren't all the new casting choices that I like in my Vegeta 2 project. Now, I also like other ones like Eris from The Grim Adventures of Billy, of Billy and Mandy as the Fairy Godmother, Susan Heffley as Queen Lillian. Yeah, those, yeah, casting choices like those. Cat Dog's father from Cat Dog as Frog King Harold, but none of those were capable enough of making the top five. So yeah, those were my top five favorite casting choices, uh, favorite new casting choices for Vegeta 2. This list can change. Yeah, this list can change, but I, I I probably won't be updating this list. So yeah, that's it for the list, everyone. That's it for this video, everyone. Um, okay, what are what's your favorite casting choice? What's your favorite casting choice? What, what's your favorite new casting choice in my Vegeta 2 project? Feel free to let me know in the comments down below. And yeah, that's it for the video, everyone. Bye, everyone, and thank you all for watching this video.